Attention Delta passengers, there may be some turbulence at the gate. Over the holiday weekend, video surfaced of an interaction between trans actress Tommy Dorfman and a Delta Airlines employee where Dorfman alleges the employee misgenders the actress. Let's watch. And what about when a Delta employee misgenders you so intentionally? Sorry, while, she's talk, while he's talking, you're talking. You just me. misgendered me again. Okay. Multiple times. Gotcha. Both of you have. Sorry. Wasn't intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal, that's also. Well, okay. she did do it intentionally twice. Yeah, she's talking to me too. You said she, and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have Port Authority escort you out the building right this moment if you want to play that game with me. Okay. Would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. Dorfman is best known for starring in Netflix's 13 Reasons Why and posted this clip on TikTok accusing the employee of committing a human rights violation for using the wrong pronouns. The video quickly went viral on conservative Twitter after commentator Libs of TikTok posted it there, adding trans activists tried bullying an airline employee for misgendering the employee, wasn't having it. This is the correct way to deal with these narcissists who demand we give in to their delusions. It's all just a power trip for them. Delta has yet to respond to the clip. So this was posted uh, by Dorfman on uh, TikTok initially and then uh, got a lot of conservative pickup. Um, I, look, I am always hesitant to make any judgments based on short um, video clips. I like to see more context and to know exactly what was going on. But of course, this was posted by, uh, by the individual um, Dorfman uh, herself, so so she, I guess, thought this made her look good. Um, I don't think it makes her look good. Why would you film yourself like having and like people are just filming too many things for for one thing. Like we need to all treat each other with a little um, a little with respect and also patience. I it sounds like the person didn't know what the right pronoun was to use, and there's no reason to make a federal case out of it, or to say it, it's a human rights violation, which actually does like necessitate in some states, like a, that a, the government would investigate you for saying the wrong word to someone in, during a quick exchange at a ticket counter. I mean, have people totally lost their their minds? What am I what am I missing, Jessica? I don't know. I, lives of TikTok calling that bullying. I, I don't think it was bullying. But um, I, I would really like to see what happened before this. Tommy Dorfman, she explained that there was an exchange where the airline worker, the employee, I don't know if it was a flight attendant or a desk worker, had intentionally misgendered her several times. Who knows what that interaction looked like? I think that's probably why she decided to take out her phone and start recording, because, you know, maybe something would be said again and she wanted to have it on video. But I, I wouldn't call this bullying, right? It was a tense exchange. Clearly, she was shaken up about whatever had happened with the employee before this one. And this employee just seemed to, to not want to deal with any kind of altercation and went really quick to escorting her out of the building. She was clearly upset about something that happened before. But I don't know. I Would you call this bullying, Robbie? I think that's strong use of language from Libs of TikTok. I mean, I think it's bullying to surveil someone, to start recording someone because maybe they didn't refer to you the way you wanted to be referred. Um, and look, I'm nice. I'll just, I want to use whatever language people want. Uh, I don't want to have uncomfortable interactions with people. So I, like, I'm not speaking for myself, but if you don't do that, I don't have a problem with it either. And like, can we just move on? Actually, the people I feel worse for who are not shown in that video is whoever's waiting behind um, uh, Tommy Dorfman in line, like for their, you know, late for their flight. Can you please, can you please move this along? You really have to have a fight about transgender pronouns in like the airline, the, the notoriously stressful airline uh, ticketing line before you go through um, airport security, which is another stressful experience. Like, come on. I no. This seems like uh, I, I think the the individual. Uh, the the actress wanted to make this into a big like I was victimized by 
you know, what this, what, what this person said to me. So let me record this. So let me get my, my moment in the spotlight so everyone can celebrate how, how wrongfully I was treated. And what actually happened, if you, I looked at some of the, you know, the comments on, um, on, on that video or elsewhere where it was, was posed, not just under the libs of TikTok version of it, where of course everyone's going to agree with what libs of TikTok had to say, but other places, most people being like, give me a break. How entitled are you? Why would you do this? Um, I don't think it, I don't think it makes, um, I don't think it makes her look good. Yeah, I, I don't have a, a lot of respect. I actually have no respect for libs of TikTok. It's a very low effort media hobby that uh, Chai Reichik has. I think it's really just poor to take videos out of context and post them and say this is all about power for them. Every single trans person I know is very kind and very understanding and gets that this is a big change in our society and culture in this country. And they're just grateful when you ask what pronouns they prefer. I've literally never met someone who gets angry when someone doesn't use the proper pronouns. But I, I have seen transgender people get upset when someone intentionally misgenders them, when someone won't recognize their identity, when they're intentionally mean to them because they don't approve of their way of life. It's really just like infringing on their personal space, their personal space, uh, peace traveling through the airport during a very stressful time, as you point out, Robbie. So I, I really don't know what happened to Tommy Dorfman before this, but I will say everything I know about the transgender community goes directly against what Libs of TikTok is trying to make it about based on a, a, a very selected interaction. So I, I just don't have a lot of respect for what Libs of TikTok is trying to do there. And I think they're just outright wrong about how they're trying to frame how transgender people act in our society. Well, I don't think Libs of TikTok is really at fault here. I mean, it was Tommy Dorfman who put the, who circulated the clip in the first place. It's not like Libs of TikTok snatched this clip out of obscurity. Um, the, the, the transgender individual filmed it and posted it, I think, thinking that it would make um, her look good, and then most people are not having that reaction. I don't really think that's, you know, libs of TikTok's um, a problem. And, you know, and, and again, in most cases, I think, look, and I'm not saying I necessarily agree with the politics of this account, but it, it seems like mostly it's publicizing videos that other people put out there. I mean, if you put it out there, that's that's because you you want other people to see it, right? You, you think it's, it, it makes you look... Uh, look good. I mean, also, I, I sh we should recognize so this person's name is, this is a, a male to female transition, um, but kept Tommy Dorfman, the birth name, uh, kept the same birth name. I get Tommy can be a woman's name, but if you, I don't know, if you, if you were presented with someone who is female presenting, but has what is more commonly a male first name, and, and you get that wrong off the bat, that makes you, the, the Human Rights Commission should investigate you, that's insane to me. Well, she said, Robbie, repeatedly this person was misgendering her. So it sounds like it wasn't just they got it wrong after reading her name one time. I think libs of TikTok is is not at fault for the video existing. Of course not. Tommy Dorfman posted it for her followers on social media, which is a community of people that intended to interact with her. Libs of TikTok, by taking that video from there and posting it and saying it's all about a power trip for them and adding context that they're not even sure is, is true about the interaction, saying she was bullying the employee. I didn't see her bully the employee in that video. I've worked in you know retail, I've worked in customer service. I was a bartender for a long time. I've dealt with people that were extremely hostile. This was not a hostile interaction on her behalf. The way it's that- It's Karen isn't it Karen to, to threaten to call employees... the human rights investigators? I don't think she called in human rights investigators. I think she just called it a human rights violation to repeatedly misgender someone. It's it, it's a hate crime. Um, but I, I think gender violence also is, is a hate crime, according to the United Nations. So I think when you see that employee reacting so uh, aggressively to this person that came up and said, you know, she misgendered me multiple times, like I want something done about this, instead of saying, all right, I'm going to call my higher ups. Instead, he decided to have that confrontation. And most employees are given a directive not to have confrontations with customers. And so he made a deliberate decision to do that. I'm kind of more disgusted by the employee, not just reacting in a basic human manner, like you've clearly been upset, this offended you, I'm sorry this happened, I'm gonna call my higher ups because this is clearly not my job as a desk agent. Like there was a better way to handle this. 
Yeah, well, again, we only got to see a brief clip of it, so I don't know how it was handled in the footage we didn't see, but um, we debate, you decide. Let us know what you thought about this viral little TikTok, and we'll have more rising right after this.